The Deseret News' annual 10 Today series explores the relevance of the Ten Commandments in modern life. This morning, we are taking a look at what counts as infidelity and adultery in the digital age. And joining me to discuss that is Deseret News in-depth editor Allison Pond and reporter Kelsey Dallas. Thanks for being here this morning. Thanks for having us. Now, Thanks. interestingly, you, the Deseret News actually commissioned a poll for this. Mm -hmm. So we're getting local research and it showed more than three quarters of people, Americans, believe that having sexual relationships with someone other than your partner is adultery. But then what else constitutes it is less clear. Mm -hmm. Break that down for me, Allison. Yeah, so we asked um, about 11 different behaviors from having sex with someone who's not your partner or spouse all the way down to following an ex on social media mm -hmm. or... Uh, uh, you know, having dinner with someone who is who you're attracted to, or watching pornography online, or sending flirtatious messages. And what's really interesting is that on physical behaviors, it was pretty clear that people were in agreement that those were not okay. But there's a big gray area when it comes to the things that we do online, and that's the thing th what people are grappling with in the modern age. I guess. And that's kind of a, Kelsey, the, sort of the thing that's changed in mm -hmm. society is online produces so many more actions mm -hmm. that. Um, are, like you said, are in that gray area. And we're used to talking about it in terms of how the internet can sort of improve our dating life, that you can use a site like OkCupid and find a new partner. But we really wanted to embrace this opportunity to talk about potential pitfalls of regular internet use. And, and the main one is that temptation is now um, carried around in our pocket with a smartphone. So how did it break down when you, you talked about um, having dinner with someone or uh, following someone on uh, an ex? on social media. Were there some that, that believe that qualified as Yes, so certainly. Mm -hmm. And we saw dip some interesting breakdowns by gender, for example, on every single one of those 11 items. Okay. Women were more likely than men to say, yes, that's cheating. Um, we also saw some interesting differences by religion. You had people who are more religious, more concerned about some of the um, online behaviors, as well as going to a strip club without a partner. Um, and so, and the interesting thing on uh, age breakdown is that on the online activities, millennials were actually a little bit more sensitive to those mm -hmm. than some of their elders. Yeah. And that's interesting given our political backdrop. Uh, Kelsey, Vice President Pence got so oh, much attention yes. because he doesn't go to dinner or, or eat meals with women other than his wife alone. Mm -hmm. Well, it was it was really interesting to work on a project related to politician infidelity because there's so many examples of times where we freaked out, whether because someone was involved in an, uh, an affair or maybe they were just trying really hard to avoid one. The scandal is that they didn't want a scandal to happen. And so I talked a little bit about the why we're so obsessed and maybe why we should be, but in a more healthy way. And have you ever seen that before? I mean, somebody that gets gets guff essentially for not wanting to cause a problem that's a new that's a new twist in all of this yeah it's, it's on both sides and right and a lot of this depends on your perspective and your party and mm -hmm. so one of the things that we saw in this poll that was very interesting is that republican attitudes about whether they would vote for a presidential candidate who has had an affair in the past have become much more open saying oh it doesn't matter whereas democratic attitudes among democrats they're much less willing to say that mm -hmm. that's okay okay we just have a little bit of time left and i want you to know more about the deseret news's top 10 project so this is the fourth year that we've done the project. Um, sometimes we've done a series of 10 articles about each of the Ten Commandments. This year we focused only on one. Last year we focused only on one. Um, and we intend to, to keep going with this. One of the things that I think is great about it, you know, it's, it's an example of in the modern age with everything changing that we're looking to old wisdom traditions, whether it's mindfulness, meditation, or the Ten Commandments, to help us navigate to find some ancient grounding principles. Mm -hmm. Well, most interesting. Uh, well, you can find that online, DeseretNews.com, DesNews.com. Yeah, the whole one. Project. Okay. Thank you, Kelsey and Allison. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Now that does it for this week's edition of Sunday Edition. I'm Deanie Wimmer. Thanks for joining.